in this year itself. And uh, all eyes now on the crude dependent counters, especially the ones that will benefit out of this fall. So you have the OMCs, the airline companies, also you have paint and rubber companies which have uh, crude derivatives as their raw material. What's your outlook on these particular counters? Does it make sense to look at them based on this uh, particular movement in crude or do you think it's too risky to do that? Uh, good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Vinny, and uh, good morning, Kunal. And as far as uh, this uh, news of crude having corrected sharply over the last uh, few days is concerned, uh, there couldn't have been a better news than this for India as an economy because we are one of the largest importers of crude in the world. And uh, with uh, crude having come down, say, f from its highs by around 30 to 40 percent, that is a pretty good uh, reason to cheer. And that will also take control of the inflation, which was uh, going up, because crude affects our lives in every sphere, be it uh, the direct consumption of petrol and diesel, or be it the logistics costs, and several other uh, products where crude derivatives are used to make them. So all in all, it's a good news for India. And I think uh, most of the sectors which you talked about, uh, like uh, oil marketing companies, which were reeling under the pressure of high crude prices, depreciating rupee and not being able to increase prices because of uh, political compulsions or uh, the state elections which were underway. I think uh, it should be pretty positive for oil marketing companies. And then I, in addition to that, I think uh, companies like uh, paint companies like Asian Paints and uh, several other companies from the sector, they would also stand to benefit from the fall in crude prices because uh, crude forms a major part of their raw material costs. Then you can even add companies like a Pedalite or a Deepak Nitrite, which use crude derivatives as their raw material. So I think it's positive for all these sectors, all these companies. And uh, I think uh, they are good quality companies like uh, uh, oil marketing companies. They are trading at uh, valuations which look attractive. They've been beaten down badly. So I think there's, although they've gone up in the last uh, few days, but I think there's uh, some scope for them to go up further. And uh, the other companies like uh, Pedalite Industries or a Nation Paint or a Consigner Lac or a Deepak Nitrite, they're fundamentally great companies and they were also reeling under the pressure of high crude prices. And I think now that the crude has uh, come down, they would uh, start performing better than what they were doing in the last two quarters. So I'm bullish on all these stocks and uh, would uh, expect or would recommend investors to be looking at opportunities to accumulate these stocks. That's the view coming in from Vikas. But uh, Kunal, how are you reading uh, the charts for Brent crude? Uh, you know, we have seen almost a 40% correction from the 2022 highs. Now, what is it indicating over there for you in terms of charts? So, good morning, all of you. Good morning, uh, Vikas, as well. Uh, my belief is that most of the uh, the crude uh, you know, charts are indicators are indicating that this is a sign of a major crackdown to the the asset class. Now, I think a couple of weeks back, I pointed out a, a formation of a bearish cup and handle pattern on crude oil price on the Brent crude when uh, you know, crude oil was trading above the 85 88 dollars per barrel mark. Now, as you can see, this is the trend line which I've drawn for crude oil price. The black trend line, which you can see, or the green trend line, is more of a bearish uh, you know, breakdown for crude oil price. And since then, the you know uh, asset has fallen by another 10% plus from those levels. My belief is that it's confirmed a breakout breakdown of a major, major trend line support. And unless you know, crude oil prices on the Brent crude comes back above the $85 mark, I would believe that it could be into a multi-week, multi-month correction from here on. So we can expect that slowly and steadily it can start to ebb off maybe from $77, $78 where it's currently trading right now, maybe levels of $70 or, or below that as well, possibly in the next one to two months. Okay, levels of 70 and below that in the next two uh, couple of months is what we are watching out for as well. But on that note, viewers, we are going to slip into a very short break. Don't go anywhere because after this break, we will be taking your stock-related queries. Hello and welcome to Startup Central on ET Now. I am Varun. And I am Ghazal Ala. A really special episode lined up for you. We've come to the office of Mama Earth. <laughs> All want to be in this space. How are you going to maintain your first mover advantage and the market? Focusing on consumers rather than competition.
Hello. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs. It, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you asked me, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. But if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs it, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. But if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs it, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. And yes, markets are doing absolutely nothing uh, because we saw a steady rally uh, towards the end of uh, November, starting of, uh, uh, we are starting a bit start of December, you could say that. But now the markets are doing absolutely nothing. And when uh, markets do absolutely nothing, it makes investors very jittery with their holding, wondering what should they do? Should they book out profit? Should they hold on? Should they buy more? But in this particular scenario, what should retail investors do to protect their wealth that they've already created? In one word, it would be hold on to your good quality stocks. December normally is a month where most of the big institutions are on leave. 
and that is also one of the reasons why we see a very dull December. But I think come January, we should be headed upwards and uh, uh, we are in a very sweet spot. We were just discussing the fall in crude prices. There couldn't have been a better news than that for India as an economy. Most of the companies have come out with pre pretty good certain numbers for the September quarter and I do not uh, think there would, be a, there would be any different in the uh, October to December quarter when we start getting their results in January and then we'll be headed for the budget. So I'm extremely bullish on our markets, although we are at lifetime highs, but I think things internationally are also looking up and looking good and inflation in the US also seems to have peaked out. We could see only a 50 basis point rate cut in, on the 14th of December when the Fed announces that. So I think uh, we are headed for good times the, the, uh, and would uh, advise investors to use this opportunity when the markets are consolidating to uh, buy or accumulate good quality stocks. Okay. With that, let's get started uh, with all your stock-related queries. And uh, you can send us your queries either on YouTube, WhatsApp, or on our Twitter page as well. And uh, good morning, Kunal, as well as Vikas. And Kunal, I'm going to start the first query with you. We have this query coming in from Denny Matthews from UK. Uh, he wants a short-term view coming in on UPL, holding UPL 2,500 shares at 727 rupees and Tata Steel 50,000 shares at 101. What should they be doing with both these shares? Well, I think both these stocks are attractive. UPL, Tata Steel, they are getting into a big breakout mode for themselves on the higher-term time frame charts. And my belief is that if you're a patient investor, uh, you know, and, and not worry about the the swing moves, the the four five percent kind of a mild correction in between. Then I think you should stay put or look to buy these stocks at current levels as well. Uh, I also believe that uh, you know this is a play where many of the large cap stocks are outperforming many of the global, uh, many of the mid caps and small caps, uh, you know, stock for themselves. So I think that's also one of the interesting play that many of these large cap teams which have been underperforming, they could make a very strong comeback. So I think in that regards, UPL, Tata Steel and such of the stocks should be a buy as well as a hold from a medium to long term play. Okay, uh, the next query that I have is actually coming in uh, from uh, Samitra. And he wants uh, a view on Thyrocare Vikas. He's saying that he's purchased the stock at a lower level. The stock saw a spectacular rally, the Corona rally. And then uh, you had the uh, company, you had that acquisition or sell out of that company as well. So now he wants to know what should he do? Should he still stay put with Thyrocare, repose that trade in the counter? Or should he actually book out of it? Because definitely he is seen some sort of a, um, a fall in his wealth as well that he's created in this one. Thyrocare is concerned or the other stocks in the path lab category is concerned. Uh, most of them have seen their uh, dream times uh, uh, in the past when we were uh, going through that uh, COVID scenario. But now I think there's a lot of competition within the space. We've been recently hearing that Tata uh, MG has uh, started uh, or has uh, really reduced their rates drastically, which would lead to a severe impact on uh, the profitability, profitability of all these companies. So I would think that these stocks may not outperform the market. I think there are better opportunities available elsewhere. So my recommendation would be to exit this sector and uh, look for even if one wanted to be in the uh, uh, pharma or uh, medical sector, I think hospitals would uh, make a better uh, opportunity or would give you a better opportunity. So I would recommend that uh, the investor sells uh, these uh, path lab companies and uh, uh, buy some hotel st uh, hospital stocks which would do better. Kunal, this next query we have is coming in from S. Uh, Gopal Krishnan and this one is on Praj Industries. Mm -hmm. uh, they're currently holding 700 shares of Praj Industries at 400 rupees per share. Uh, what is the outlook uh, for a short to medium term for this one? See, I think it's a good stock to hold on. Last uh, two years, I would say from 2021, the high the stock had made was around 350, 360, 370 odd mark. Uh, 2022, uh, so far the high for the stock is around 450. But then if you look at the, the move for Praj Industries in the last one year, it's been more of a flip-flop move trading into a broad range for the stock price, which means that the 350, 370 mark is a huge support for Praj Industries. Now, if you've bought at 400 levels, I would believe, and if you have a long-term time frame, the stock has already gone through two years of uh, consolidation, then I think it's a good time where you can look to average if the stock corrects uh, closer to the 350 mark. So I would suggest a hold. If your time frame is long-term, look out for averaging around the 350 mark. 
Okay, Kunal, this one also is coming your way. This one is coming in from Manish Raju. He wants to know about AB Capital and Amara Raja batteries. AB Capital, he's holding from the price of around 129 rupees per share. Amara Raja from the uh, price of around 645 rupees per share. He's looking to hold on for the short term. What sort of a target uh, should he look out for, for, uh, for more upside? I believe both of these counters were among your top list, isn't it? Absolutely, and they still are. I would only, uh, you know, urge or ask the viewer that if you can probably look out for more uh, medium to long term time horizon that much more stronger potential could be unleashed for these stocks. Now, you know, there are times when you see short term rally, you see the stock rising up 10, 20 percent and you are, uh, you know, there's this ur urge to try and book profits over there uh, and, and then try to scale out and then look out for other avenues. But I believe that both these stocks, Amaraja Battery, AB Capital, which have been uh, two of my favorites over the last many uh, weeks, I would recommend to hold on to it from a medium to long term play. I think the broader move has just started for these two stocks and if there is any kind of a potential on the upside and the market also performs in a very stable manner going forward then i believe that these stocks could clock uh, another 20 to 25 percent higher in the next one to two years so i'm extremely bullish on both of these names and if you can you can look to hold on because this next query we have is coming in for you and this one is on a uh, castrol uh, now m mathivatan uh, vanan uh, from chennai is holding uh, 150 shares of castrol at a rate of around 170 rupees what should they be doing with this one now first i would like to sympathize with the investor he's bought it at a very high price and it's sitting on uh, substantial losses but at the current levels i think one can hold on to castrol it's a good quality company the stock's valuation also looks good at the current level, so I would maintain a hold at the current levels. Oh, Mukil Kanal, this one is for you. He's writing to us from Bangalore. He's uh, he's saying he sold a Jubilant Food December futures at 543. He wants to know what's your view on the charts. It uh, is there a downtrend? Uh, also, what is the immediate support that he can look at? See, I think the stock is already into an oversold territory. Last two days, I think it's corrected from 556 to. 536 or 535 where the stock is trading right now which means that within an oversold territory the stock has also corrected much more in case if there is any recovery the stock should come back towards the 555 556 mark which is the starting point of this oversold correction you're making a, a profit i, I think one percent one and a half four percent on jubilant food i would suggest to book out over here and uh, you know if possible then you can look to initiate a buy maybe around the 532 534 mark on the futures Kunal, I'm going to come back to you again. We have this next query coming in from Ramesh, who's from Coimbatore, and uh, wants to know on an EID parry, uh, how are you looking at the stock for this one? Shall they look to buy this one for a time period of six months? So I would suggest that you wait out for uh, you know buying the stock at current levels. I believe that it's going through a time-wise correction. The time-wise correction has just started for EID parry. So like what I alluded for Praj Industries and, and such other names, uh, in the, the sugar dependent names, I would believe that EID Paris is entering into a phase of consolidation and this consolidation could last for at least another two to three months and in that phase uh, it could be possible that the stock may correct and come back towards 530, 525 kind of zone. So if you're looking to buy, a better entry point would be possibly from, uh, from here on, maybe another couple of months from now and maybe at a price which is around 10 to 15 percent lower than the current market price. Okay, uh, the next query that I have actually is coming in from Sri Kutan and Kunal once more for you. He wants to know about a good entry level for Blue Star. Also, what's a short to medium term technical view on the counter? So I think again, it's a stock which has done exceptionally well. If I'm not wrong, today also the stock made a fresh 52-week uh, high and life high for itself, trading about the 12.50 mark. But then I think buying the stock at current levels, I would I would not uh, you know uh, warrant a buy at current levels. It has this odd tendency that after a month of a rally, one one and a half one and a half or month of rally, the stock goes into a phase of correction, and that correction uh, in lasts for almost 10% to 15%. So I think you should be patient enough, wait out for that phase of correction. In case if the stock corrects and say comes back towards 1200 mark or slightly below, then I think it's a very good opportunity to buy the stock rather than at current levels. Because this next query we have is coming in from uh, Subrata Ghosh from uh, Delhi and this one is actually on uh, Bikaji Foods, the newly listed company. Is it a good time to buy this one or what should they be uh, doing right now with it? Now again, a uh, good quality company. I'm bullish on the sector. The entire FMCG sector is doing really well. And this is a recent listing. Fundamentals look good. The stock is corrected from its recent highs. I think it makes a... Uh, good uh, opportunity to, uh, it gives a good opportunity to buy the stock at the current levels. Uh, but I think medium to long term, we could see substantial upside from the current levels. Okay. 
On that note, we're going to slip into a very short break. Don't go anywhere. We will be back uh, with your stock-related queries after this break as well. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible, it could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you've participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs it, E.T. is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you've participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs it, E.T. is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. Muthoot Finance pays for the gold loan. The gold loan is for the Sunehra Mota couples. And the gold loan is for the Sunehra Mota couples. And the gold loan is for the Sunehra Mota couples. This is not for the transaction. There will be 24 karat gold in your name. You will get friends and family to refer to your friends. Khara Sona. गोल्ड लोन लेने के लिए आज ही मुथूट फाइनेंस की ब्रांच में आए या फिर घर बैठे बैठे गोल्ड लोन पाए आज ही कॉल करें वन एट जीरो जीरो थ्री वन थ्री वन टू वन टू
Welcome back. You're watching Bye Now Sarla on ET Now. On ET Now, uh, this is the show where we get to uh, answers for all your stock-related queries. But before we move ahead, let's just flash uh, the flashes on the bottom of your screen. Let's just uh, take a look at LIC because uh, sources have told wire agencies that the government is aiming to appoint a private sector professional as the first CEO of LIC. It, this is in an effort to modernize the. Uh, the insurers uh, after a disappointing stock market debut. Remember, the private sector appointee to lead uh, LIC uh, would be a first in a 66-year history. So this is what the government is considering right now. Source-based information from wire agencies. The government is aiming to appoint a private sector professional as the first CEO of LIC with the hope that will be able to change the dynamics or change uh, uh, the performance of LIC. This is after a disappointing stock market debut. But let's move on and let's uh, get going with your queries then. And the next one that I have is coming in uh, from uh, Santi. And this one, I, Kunal, I, I, I'll take it to you uh, because what he's asking is like he would want to add any three out of the following companies. And the companies are JB Chemicals, Ipka Labs, DV's, Gland, Loris, and Preva Speciality Chemicals. He wants you to suggest, basing on growth expectation, less risk of margins, basing on technical study. And he also wants to know if he can go on to add these stocks at every support for the long term. So I think only one stock uh, which stands out, uh, at least as of now, on the, from the list of stocks which you mentioned, JB Chemicals, Gland, Pharma, and Ipcar, etc. Uh, I think JB Chemical is a stock which I would look to uh, you know, suggest. I think the stock has had a very steady, gradual, and a smooth uptrend for itself on a medium to long term basis. You look at the last, uh, you know, I think seven, eight months of charts, you look at the last two years of charts as well, the stock has this tendency of going into a rally, consolidating, correcting, and then coming back again to make uh, a fresh high for itself. And that's, I think, a, a chart which is suiting your uh, query. So I think in that regards, I would suggest JB Chemical. You can start off at current levels because the stock seems to have already gone through a phase of correction and is now very close to its major support points. Vikas, this next query we have is coming in for you and this one is coming in from uh, Satyan and it, this is on Apollo tires. They're currently holding 75 shares of Apollo tires at around 261 rupees per share. They want to know whether they should actually look at switching to something like a JK tire or continue to hold this. They have a two-year time period for holding. No, first I'd like to take a call on the tire sector as a whole. The sector has done really well. Uh, we've seen a huge jump in auto sales over the last, uh, say, one year or so and uh, with the uh, crude prices also having come down, I think that will be positive for the sector as a whole, and that would lead to a positive uh, momentum for the tire stocks as well. And within this space, I think Apollo tires is a good stock to own. So I wouldn't think one would require to, if one were to stay invested in the tire sector, I think Apollo tire remains one of the good bets. So I would recommend that the investor continues to hold on to Apollo tires rather than switching to any other stock in the sector. Coming in from Satya, and Satya wants, a, uh, wants to know about Sun Pharma. 900 rupees per share is the buy price for it. He wants a fundamental and technical view after today's news. What's the strategy for medium to long term? But I'll take this query directly to you, Vikas. Sun Pharma, import alert coming in for Hellol facility. Only 14 products are excluded from the import alert. Uh, is this a big blow for Sun Pharma? And if someone is a shareholder of the stock, what should their strategy be? Uh, no, Cheryl, these type of things keep happening with most of the pharma companies in India. US FDA keeps regulating them. And I think uh, today's fall is a uh, result of the, uh, the import alert which has been uh, 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 given on this uh, company. But I think uh, it's a good stock to own. And uh, although the stock has done really well over the last uh, three months, but I think uh, it, there's certainly much more upside to this stock. And I think once this uh, the the hangover of this news gets over, the stock would start again. Uh, so I would maintain a hold at the current levels. Query we have is coming in for you. This one is on NBCC. The query is from Harish, who's a senior citizen from Chennai. Now they're holding. Uh, they bought NBCC at uh, forty two point five zero rupees per share, and uh, you know uh, it seems like it's trading flat for them. So 
whether they want to know this breakout level, is it sustainable or will it actually slip below the 40 level? Uh, what does the chart indicate for you and uh, could you suggest them what should they be doing with this or should they be switching to something like a Trident? See, I would look at it this way from 30 rupees, the stock had rallied up to 42, which means uh, in percentage terms, it's more than a 40% rally for NBCC. Now, after a 40% rally, if the stock goes into a 5% correction and from 42 levels, if it corrects to 40, then it's a very uh, nominal kind of a correction for a stock like NBCC, which is technically a very high beta stock. So I wouldn't be surprised that even if the stock maybe corrects and extends the correction to 38 levels as well, would be surprised. Ideally, in such kind of a scenario, you should try and take advantage of these 10% plus corrections. Uh, you know, we've, we've been time and again reiterating the point that for many of the PSU banking names and the PSU stocks, a 10% correction from their previous swing highs is a very good, uh, you know, zone to look to, look to buy these stocks. Uh, and, and try and take advantage of this massive uptrend with the PSU stocks are going into. So I would still stand by with the view. In case if the stock corrects to 38 levels, that's a zone where you should look to buy rather than sell. All right, uh, just scanning through all the stocks uh, or queries that I have to see if uh, I have a long-term queries because I, all I can see is short-term. But Vikas, I found one for you. Indomati is holding Grindville Norton at a price of around 16.50 rupees per share. Wants to know whether she... Uh, should accumulate these at current levels because she wants to know if the stock can become a good portfolio stock. Do you think that it is worth uh, keeping Grindwell Norton in a portfolio and adding some more? Uh, yeah, Cheryl, it's a great quality company. Uh, it's uh, certainly a long-term portfolio stock. Uh, the investor has bought it at a pretty good price. And I think even at the current levels, one can consider buying into this stock in a staggered manner if the market's uh, correct and uh, we, uh, which could be uh, possible anytime. So I think uh, during those days when markets are not doing well, if you get it at a lower level, it would be better. But uh, I think it's a great stock to own from a long-term point of view. So I would uh, recommend that the investor continues to hold on to it. Query we have is coming in uh, from a senior citizen who's from Bangalore. They've not mentioned their name. Uh, they requested you suggest one or two good stocks names that they, one could look at buying with a time uh, frame period of around a year. So uh, around a year, if you're looking to buy, and even if from a short to medium term you're looking to buy, I would suggest two names. One would be Industrial Bank. I think the stock is forming a classical base uh, over here. 1150 has been a major support for Industrial Bank. 1180 was the most recent support for the stock and it's taking a consistent bounce at those higher levels. So it's forming a base which is higher and that's a very good sign for Industrial Bank. I would suggest that as a uh, you know, stock number one, you can look to buy at current levels. And one of the other names, the mid-cap names which I highlighted uh, yesterday and today as well, Heikel, the stock which has had I think 400 rupees today, uh, it's formed a classical cup and handle breakout and this is more visible on the monthly charts coming out after almost two years of a major correction for itself. So these are two names which I would suggest from current levels from either a medium term play, one to three months or even from a long term play, six months to one year plus. All right, and please don't miss uh, that, uh, that uh, top band that is flashing on the top of your screen. ET now is number one once again, week after week. And that is a big thank you to all of our viewers as well as our experts who actually join us through the day on ET now. Uh, thank you viewers once again. ET now is number one once again. But let's move on and let's talk about uh, the next stock uh, query that I have and it's coming in from Manjunath. Dr. Reddy's is the counter uh, that he wants to ask about, 110 uh, shares at an average price of 4,878 rupees per share since November 2020, Kunal. The loss now is about 11%, wants to know can add some more at current price for the next three years or shift to a good bank, defense, energy or power stock. See, some of the uh, pharma stocks have actually disappointed in the last uh, two, three months or even the last six months. In fact, Sun, Sun Pharma, which was one of the stronger names, even that stock has corrected today and come back towards the one month, two month low for itself, which means that it could be possible that you know, the pharma stocks may get back into a drag kind of a mode. I would suggest that if you're looking at stocks like Dr. Reddy or even stocks like Divi Slab, you need to have a time frame of at least three to five years, if not more. So if there is any kind of a short term time frame which you have, say for one month, three months, or maybe even less than a year, then I think you should try and avoid these stocks uh, even at current levels. The next query we have is coming in from Neela and uh, she's a retired banker from Chennai because this one I'm going to take to you because uh, she's bought uh, 1000 shares of PNB at 35 rupees per share. Is it a good time to sell this and actually switch to something like a Raymond and uh, they have a time period of holding of around uh, three years. So what should they be doing with this? 
No, I think banking as a sector would certainly do well over the next three years, but PNB would not be my choice if one has a three years uh, view uh, to hold on to a stock. I think one could look at the bigger names within the uh, PSU or the private banking space like uh, State Bank of India or uh, Bank of Baroda or uh, from the private sector banking space like an ICICI Bank, Axis Bank or an HDFC Bank. Although PNB also has done well, it's gone up recently it's, and for the investor also it has done well. It's, it's given good returns over the last uh, say month or so or a month or two months. But I think from here on it will be difficult for PNB to uh, say uh, uh, cross levels of 60 rupees. So my advice would be to switch to a, either an SBI or an ICICI bank if one has a three years time horizon. Moving on, this has come from Jay Krishnan. Now, uh, Jay Krishnan has co forged the price of uh, 4,105 rupees per share. Kunal holding for the medium term. Wants to know, continue to hold, sell, or average, and if average at what level? Hold, uh, don't uh, average at current levels, but then if, you, if you're looking to put in extra money into the IT sector overall, then I would suggest you should still go with the likes of Infosys and HCL Tech. It is always better to go with the leader and the price performer, the stronger price performer with respect to uh, any sector. And I think in that regards, Infosys and HCL Tech are the two stocks which have managed to uh, outperform significantly and they can continue to outperform for the next uh, three to six months as well. So I would suggest that you can hold on to Coforge as of now, but add on to Infosys or HCL Tech. The next query, uh, because we have is coming in for you and this one is on um uh, the cent Century Textiles, this one is coming in from Shavan from Ahmedabad. Uh, they want your fundamental analysis on Century Textiles. They bought uh, 100 shares at uh, 800 levels. Currently, they're making a loss over there. Uh, what uh, does it look like for you in terms of how is Century Textile looking? And they have a time period of holding of around three to four years. So should they continue to hold this or switch to some other names? I think at the current levels, uh, Century looks a bit expensive. It's uh, textile as well as a real estate play but if one were to look at the textile sector, I think there are better companies available. I would actually vouch for a KPR Mills or an Ambika Cotton or a Google Das Exports from the textile sector, which one can buy even at the current levels. So Century Textiles, I think uh, the investor would be advised to uh, book losses here or switch to a stock like a KPR Mill, which would do comparatively better than uh, Century Textiles over a longer period of time. This one uh, query coming in from Vishal. Uh, uh, Vikas, this one is for you. He wants to know if it's a good time to add Apar Industries at current market price for the long term. In their earnings call, they said that they had advised uh, for uh, subdued margins in the quarter that we are in. So do you think it makes sense to look at Apar Industries nevertheless? Yeah, it's a great company. I've been a fan of this company. I've recommended this stock uh, quite a number of times at lower levels. The stock has really done well. I think from here on also, if one has a one to two year horizon, it would continue to do well. There could be short term gyrations, but I think from a long term point of view, there's nothing to worry. And uh, this uh, is a very good stock for long term portfolio. So I would advise the investor to uh, buy it and use any fall in this stock as an opportunity to add more. With that, let's just get, uh, get started with the rapid fire. And the first query, Kunal, I'm going to come to you. That is, uh, we have uh, Deva Das, uh, who's holding 100, sh uh, 100 shares of Asian Paints at 3,150 rupees. Should they continue to hold or sell? I think you should look to book profits over here for Asian Paints. Kunal, one more for you. Jindal Stainless, uh, Sagar bought 3,000 shares at 102 rupees per share. He's seen a spectacular rise, but now he wants to know what should he do with this particular counter? Should he look to exit? I think you should look to book out profits. The stock is at a major uh, resistance point for itself. The next query is coming in from Vijay because this one is for you and this one is on Polyplex. So is it a good time to add more Polyplex? They are already holding 25 shares at uh, 1,850 rupees. Well, I think this stock can be bought at the current levels. It's corrected from its size. Okay, Shobna has 20 shares of HIL at 3,400 rupees per share. Wants to know whether exit or uh, average. What's your take, Kunal? Well, I would suggest to uh, hold on to the stock at current levels. So, Brata from uh, Kolkata wants to know on uh, Aurobindo Pharma, should they look to sell Aurobindo Pharma and switch to uh, Gland Pharma, Vikas? Uh, I think uh, it would be a better idea. Yeah, Gland Pharma looks better than Aurobindo Pharma. Okay, Shreyas has uh, RT drugs purchased at 583 rupees per share. Long term view for the next two, 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 three years. What should uh, he do, Vikas? I think continue to hold on to RT drugs, good quality company. 
Kunal, this next query is coming in from Vishwanathan from Cochin. Uh, VLS is what they want to know. Is it a good time to buy this one? Yeah, I think it's a good time to buy it. And the stock is also X. Uh, you know, some special situation today. So I think that regards as well, it's a good time to buy. Gauri is asking uh, Tata Alexi uh, for the next six months as a fresh investment, a good idea, Kunal? Not at all. Okay. Dixon Technologies, uh, uh, Chandrasekharan has 100 shares of this at 4,200. Vikas, uh, should they continue to hold this or sell and buy TCS? But I think one can hold on to Dixon Technologies as a country. Okay, Dasar Adi wants to know about Zenzar Technology, 200 shares at 218 rupees per share. Wants a target price for the next one year, Kunal? I would believe maybe a 255 to 275 could be a broad target range for Zenzar. Uh, Vikas, this next query is coming in on Tata Motors. We have the viewer who has bought uh, 225 shares of Tata Motors at 439. Uh, what should they be doing with this? Continue? Uh, should they look to add or switch to some other stock? Kunal, I think one should uh, hold on to Tata Motors and can also add at the current. All right, and with that, we actually come to the end of uh, the rapid fire as well as the query segment. And I must tell both of our experts and inform you all that we have a lot of appreciation for you all pouring in day in and day out on our YouTube uh, profile, on Twitter, as well as on uh, WhatsApp. So thank you so much, Kunal, as well as Vikas, for joining us on the show. And as, as always, guiding all of our viewers on their portfolio. But for now, we'll slip into a break on this edition of Buy Now, Sign Up. But viewers, stay tuned. There's lots more on the other side, so don't go anywhere. Bharat Bond ETF. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs. It, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. But if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands.
a beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs. It, E.T. is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. But if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. And let's take a look at what's making headlines uh, on, in the, on the national front. And the BJP is in a celebratory mode as early trends show that the Saffron Party is sweeping Gujarat with two-thirds majority. The BJP is currently leading over 150 seats, while both Congress and AAP are a distant second and third in the race, respectively. Celebrations are already underway, as you can see on your screen, at the BJP's party office in Gandhinagar. While it's a neck-to-neck -neck contest between BJP and Congress in Himachal Pradesh, early trends indicate it will not be a cakewalk for the either sides. After gaining in leads earlier, the BJP is currently trailing the Congress in the Hill State. Meanwhile, the electoral battle in Samajwadi Party's home turf, uh, Main Puri, is heating up. SP's uh, Dimpur Yadav is currently leading with over 20,000 votes. The seat was vacated following the death of the Samajwadi Party patriarch Mulayam Singh Yadav, Akhilesh Yadav's father, in October this year. Times Network's uh, Abhishek Avasti joins in with us to, uh, with a ground report from a BJP's HQ in Ahmedabad. Let's go across. You know, celebrating the huge lead by 150, which is currently more than 150 seats. In fact, the question which you asked, you know, I would like to tell you how the anti-incumbency of 27 years was turned into pro-incumbency by the BJP. They entirely rehauled the entire cabinet of Rupani. The entire cabinet was changed. In fact, you know, the equation right from the caste equation of Dalit, OBC, SC, ST, you know, this time all were accommodated. In fact, the the problems that the BJP faced in 2017 of, you know, the Pakidar agitation was almost, you know, uh, negated at this given point of time. And the way the, uh, you know, sitting MLAs, 40 sitting MLAs were changed, tickets were given to other people. In fact, uh, more than all the caste equation was informed and taken into account. And this is the celebration and people are enjoying. And that's the reason this can be sensed. In fact, last but not the least, the Modi factor is something that is the most important for the people of Gujarat. Celebration come on, sir. Kya celebration come on. Pure Gujarat celebration ka mahol hai. Baaj ka apna ek naya itihas banana ja rahi hai. सब रेकॉर्ड ब्रेक कर रही है हिंदुस्तान के अंदर सबसे ज्यादा कोई स्टेट के अंदर किसी पार्टी की सत्ता रही है तो भाजपा ने कर दिखाया है साथ में भाजपा ने सबसे ज्यादा सीटें का भी रेकॉर्ड गुजरात के अंदर सबसे ज्यादा सीट लेने का रेकॉर्ड भी भाजपा ने 150 से ज्यादा सीटें आ रही है क्या 150 से ज्यादा सीटें आ रही है क्या कहेंगे डेढ़ सौ से ज्यादा सीट इसीलिए आ रही है कि ये गुजरात की जनता ने कांग्रेस के आतंकवाद और तुष्टिकरण की नीति और ये आम आदमी पार्टी की मुफ्त की रेवड़ी और खालिस्तान विरोधी खालिस्तान तरफी नीति को फगा दिया है 
More than 150 seats are coming and people of Gujarat has rejected the freebies offered by Amadmi Party and Congress is trailing very badly. All right, and those are the celebrations underway at uh, the BJP headquarters in Ahmedabad. But for now, we uh, take your leave. It's a goodbye from Vinny, myself, and the team that put the show together. It's a goodbye from Baina and our team. But stay tuned. Markets at noon is coming up next with Pankaj and Anisha. आपको फैलने से रोकना With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you've participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sab saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs. It, E.T. is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you've participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sab saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. No, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs it, E.T. is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. But if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very... Kuthut Finance pays for the gold loan. The gold loan is the price of the price of the price of the couple. And the price of the price is the price of the price. This is not the price of the price of the price. 24 karat gold is your price. You will get your friends and family to refer to your friends. You will get your money. Gold loan is the price of the price of the price of the price of the price. या फिर घर बैठे बैठे गोल्ड लोन पाए आज ही कॉल करें वन एट जीरो जीरो थ्री वन थ्री वन टू वन टू This session on the Law of Street has benchmarks mirror global markets even as mid-sized PSU banks lend major support. Pharma IT restrict the up move today.
Sun Pharma is weak in the session. This is after US FDA list halal facility under import alert. This means its future shipments can be rejected from the admission in the US. The facility had con facility contributed 3% for FI22 revenues. On the other hand, Bank of India surges after another brokerage upgrade. Credit Suisse now has a target of 105 per share. Expect the return on equity to improve to 10%. The firm also sees room for a re-rating on the counter. It's an 18 hour exclusive interest rate hike will not derail the housing demand, says KK Mystery of HDFC. He explains the rationale for the mega merger, says that it will become a big NTD once it's merged, add that cost to income is the lowest in the world for the for HDFC, which will be maintained going ahead. It's a decent listing for Dharmaj Crop Guard amid a choppy market session. The shares of the Agrocom firm list at 12% premium against the issue price even after it saw a stellar subscription of around 35 times to the subscription. With the counting of votes still underway, BJP is set to make uh, a record victory in Gujarat. The Saffron Party is way ahead of its rivals in Gujarat, leading in over 150 seats. However, Himachal is seeking neck-to-neck -neck fight with Congress leading so far. Welcome, you're watching Markets at Noon on ET Now. I am Anisha Jain. With me, as always, is Pankaj Podar. And Pankaj, um, the markets are doing a tad bit better. At least we have a shade of green. And today, it's Axis Bank, which is sitting at record high level, a move of 2%. LNT also at all-time high levels, though it's Sun Pharma, which is reacting negatively to the hello news. Yeah, but it's the banking sector that clearly yeah, is buzzing. Yeah. You know, you mentioned about Axis, BOI, Bank of India, a lot of other names that are in focus. So I think it's the banking space and, you know, the way it is rallying is something which is uh, clearly uh, looking that there is a lot of